Shalom Akim. This is Yah Batiza coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yah Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Waha Raka Kwadash. Barakatham Akim. All right. Um, I'm just going into a topic, a subject. Um, just basically how a lot of these people out here in the world don't really think that the Lord's going to come back and uh, which uh, drives these people to continue in uh, setting goals and, you know, putting off the Lord day by day, you know, as if he's never going to come back, you know, just being real um, proud and, you know, and just basically despising the prophecies of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, they're not uh, hastening the day of the Lord. There's more concern about what they're going to get now here on the earth. And, uh, you know, you got a lot of people that are that are, are really uh, like that in the world, man. You know, and you'll ask them the question, do you do you fear the Lord? And they'll say, yeah. But then their actions uh, deny, deny that, you know what I'm saying? So I just want to pull out some scriptures regarding that. You know, these people out here that are. Uh, they honor the Lord with their lips, but their heart is far from him. You know, they're just full of shit, wicked ass people, you know, soulless, don't have shit, uh, spiritual, anything spiritual about them. Just lamos, you know, they ain't got no kind of salt. And uh, so, yeah, you know, I just want to get into that. Second Peter's three and one, the second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure, pure minds by way of remembrance. That you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Gone. So it's um this was prophesied that these things are gonna happen in the last days. They're gonna be walking after their own lust, these scoffers. You know, and that's all they are, man. They're just uh useless vessels that are meat for destruction that are gonna be fueled to the fire here in the last days. Alright, and they're just uh really like I said uh they're they're not spiritual they're carnal individuals and the that carna carnality way of living is going to be their destruction and uh i want to look into this word in verse 3 walking all right it says knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust so i'm going to go into that word walking <clears throat> all right uh Right here at the outline of biblical usage, it says to lead over, carry over, transfer, to pursue the journey on which one has entered, to continue on one's journey, to depart from life, to follow one that is become his adherent, to lead or order one's life. All right. So these individuals that walk after their own lust. They are uh, pursuing the journey on which one has entered. So they've entered into the world and they've the uh, the mindset was never um, enlightened by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka Kodash. All right. So they remain in that state of darkness, of carnality, man, the flesh. So they're going to pursue their their goals, their, um, their, you know, the worldly goals. And they're going to put off the Lord from day to day. And it says to continue on one's journey. And they're going to continue uh, on that journey no matter what. You know, no matter how, how many times you try to pull them out of the fire. You know, you show them the word. You know, uh, you show them the, the, the signs. You know, the the, um, the obvious signs that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is coming back. They ain't concerned about that, man. They're, 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 they're fixed in that, that path, you know. And it says to depart from life. And what is the life that they're departing from? It's this word, man, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that's contained in the scriptures. You know, to them, it's just nothing but uh, fairy tales. And they'll make remarks 
saying, oh, you, that book that you believe in, you, you, you keep saying uh, that he's going to come back or, you, you know, supposedly he's going to come back, you know, being real smart as demonic individuals, which those people are going to get their ass fucking killed pretty soon. You know, they think it's a they think they're brave and, and, and real uh, courageous making remarks like that, not having respect towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, nor his his prophets, <clears throat> the men of the Lord. You know, they think they can um, utter anything and not be, um, uh, you know, held accountable for that. All right. So it says to, to, to depart from life, to follow one that has become his adherent and to lead or order one's life. So basically, you know what I'm saying? That's what they do. They're just they're just uh, pursuing their 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 um, their happiness their to the uh, their goals to try to fulfill their goals. And if they achieve them, they don't. And if they die, they die. Not realizing how painful how the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to make it in this time you know they, these people are fucking retarded they actually think they're just going to go you know and and, and and that's it the Most High is going to is going to make this this time this death that we're, it's going to he's going to make it last alright so I'm going to go from here to the book of Ezekiel uh, 12 and start at verse 21 and the and the word of Yahweh came unto me saying son of man what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel saying the days are prolonged and every vision felleth see so the uh the children of Israel the, the these uh the two thirds they were scoffing and mocking in that time of uh, of uh, Ezekiel Yakazakala all right and they were saying that uh, uh, the days are prolonged and every vision fell. It meaning the vision represents uh, refer, referring to the prophecies. You know, it says, verse 23, tell them, therefore, thus saith the Lord power, I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. And that's right. So every every pro every major prophecy. All right. Besides the ones that haven't um, been uh, fulfilled yet, but are leading to that, are being shown, man, or have been or are being shown right now to this very day. All right. But it's only for the elect sake that they're going to take heed to it. The rest of them are going to scoff and mock it, uh, put it off from day to day, you know, uh, ignore it. Because really, they're just chicken shits. You know what I'm saying? They're just really afraid. And at, at the end of the day, also, the Lord ain't dealing with them. You know, because they're not spiritual. They're just vessels meant for destruction. You know, these dudes out here, man, they're, they're, they got some some heavy demonic spirits on them for them to not have the fear of the Lord. But to have to, but have the audacity to say that they do. But through their works, they deny him. You know, uh, real quick, let me go from there from to uh, let's see here. Titus. One and um. Uh, and 15 unto the pure all things are pure but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving it's nothing pure see they don't find these words pure so they scoff and they mock it all right and they don't have to literally you know be rude and be disrespectful with the with the, the bible with their words but their actions are doing it which they don't have that understanding as well you know but it says but even their mind and conscience is defiled that's right so a lot of people out here they're actually defiled they're dirty man you know their 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 lord has nothing to do with them they profess that they know god yeah you, and they also act like they know god you know they still call on jesus christ not being stupid saw his children not knowing that that name has nothing to do with the uh, savior of the bible okay that's contained in the scriptures they profess that they know god you know but in works they deny him being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate and a reprobate means um uh lacking um or not uh fearing the lord's judgment all right you don't uh it don't, it don't uh, apply to you in, in a sense you know because you are uh you know you're exempt or you're good you know what I'm saying this that and the third but the lord is telling you here that, 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 that you profess that you know me but in works you, that you deny me being abominable you're being an abomination and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate you know so these, these individuals are uh um pure 
All right, so I'm going to go back to Ezekiel 12. It says, uh, verse 23, or Salakia, verse 24. For there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the, uh, for I am Yahweh. I will speak. And the word that I speak shall come to pass and it shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, saith the Lord Yahweh, by, you know, uh, saith uh, Yahweh, our power. Okay? So he's going to perform his word. You know? And these people out here, man, you know what I'm saying, brothers, have to believe when you, when, you know, you say, um, like, you know, man, because you know, these people don't really pay attention or watch what they're saying. You warn them. Hey man, you need to watch what you're saying. How you being? And they don't want to take heed to it. And all they got, uh, you know, what's next? All right, something's gonna happen. You know, because the the, you know, everything has a consequence. Everything has a, a vibration to it, and, and it don't go out and just be out there and, and and die. It has to be fulfilled. You know, so the words of the Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai are gonna um be fulfilled. This is um. No matter how they try to frustrate the, uh, the the prophecies and by unbelieving or whatever they they think they can do in their mind, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai it ain't gonna allow that, you know. Uh, let me see, Salaki. So where was I? Perform it. It says, and I and I will. Uh, verse twenty five. Will I say the word and will perform it? All right. So I'm gonna go from there to the book of Isaiah, verse 55. See. So lucky. Let me see. Isaiah. See. Oh man, I can't believe the scripture. I, it was just slipped my mind. Salakia. Oh, it was right there. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. You see? So Yahweh is going to make that uh, that vision. Um, uh, he's gonna fulfill it. All right, so I'm gonna go back to Ezekiel 12. Slock your brothers. Uh, it says, and I will perform it, saith the Lord Yahweh, verse 26. And again, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and he prophesied of the times that are far off. You see. So they don't act, they don't believe that Yahweh watch me is really coming back. So if 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 they if they believe that those times are far off, what are they going to continue to do with what what they've been doing? You know, you know, seeking out their own, you know, their own happiness, they're 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 trying to establish themselves on the earth. You know, this that and the third, you know, whatever it may be, you know, going to college, you know, trying to build a family, you know, have a lot of children, you know, they're having these long term, long term goals, you know, because they don't believe, you know, because they believe in their mind that they, he, uh, that we prophesy of times that are far off, you know, so it says verse 28, therefore say unto them, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I spoke which I have spoken shall be done, said the Lord Power. That's right. So his word is gonna be done. You know? There ain't no uh uh there ain't there ain't no turning back the the word and the prophecies of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai, you know. Um we'll go from there to the book of Habakkuk. Alright. Uh two and three. Let me highlight it, brothers. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak 
and not lie. Don't let Terry wait for it because it will surely 